Hey golf fans, this is early 1981 and welcome to the Highlands Winter version. This is a fantasy course which featured heavily in the Tiger Woods franchise. It is a course known by lore to be situated in the northwest coast of Scotland. So without further ado, let's create match. Fairways are firm, greens are firm, green speeds fast. As always, we're leaving everything else at default. Two tee options, we're playing off the blue tees, which are playing 7,004 yards. And as always, pin set number one. Now, I'm sure by now all of you guys know that I was a huge fan of the Tiger Woods gaming franchise and I played every single game that was available. So I do appreciate playing a remastered version of the, the courses on the Golf Club 2019, so hole one, beautiful looking opening hole. I wasn't sure how it was going to look with the, the winter theme, but it looks absolutely fantastic. It is a par four, playing 443 yard stroke index 14. I've got no idea who designed this course, unfortunately, guys. So if anyone does know any information on the designer, please say so in the comment section. But we've got a seven mile per hour wind. Certainly going to have to land this right hand side just to avoid these bunkers so just applying a touch of fade going by our previous video where we had no aids turned on swinging very well i have been really focusing on how i hold the controller the way i swing if i don't hold the controller a specific way i will severely get punished i'll show you guys actually if i do not hold that's a favorable bounce so i'll take a few practice swings here so this is me if i swinging normally if I do not hold the the controller specific weight let's take two or three practice swings so not the best of swing lines there that one's even worse and this is me trying to swing very well guys that one's a bit better so let's get back onto this round just to show you guys that if I don't hold the controller a certain way I don't swing well I think Sam Wedge is not going to have enough to get there. No, it's not. So Gap Wedge, lofting this up. Got a six mile per hour wind. Ball at our feet's going to slope to the left also. Greens are firm. That's a fantastic strike. Tracking well. Is it going to sit down quickly? Oh, it didn't sit down as quick as I would like. And we're obviously a bit to the right of the flag. But we've got an 11 foot putt. Greens are 181. This is going to turn. Good bit to the left here. Don't want to play this too firm. Dead weight. Is it going to turn? Oh, drops right in the edge of the cup. One millimeter more to the right. That doesn't drop. And we do kick off the round with a birdie. So hole number two, par five, playing 632 yard stroke index eight. But just the, the snow makes this course look completely different. Very unique. But what a fantastic course. Look at the rainbow. Now, I can't ever recall the waterfalls being in the original off in the distance. If you guys notice anything that I miss that wasn't in the original um, Highlands of the Tiger Woods, please say so in the comment section. It's been such a long time since I've played any Tiger Woods game. We did for a, a while play the Tiger Woods, the Masters version on the Wii U. So just looking to find... There we go, that's a fantastic swing. Just looking to find this tight fairway here. The winds took us around beautifully. We could have opted to land near the lighthouse, but I think that would have left us a longer shot. We're certainly not reaching this green and two. That rainbow just looks brilliant. I love the ball trail effect you get when conditions are wet or rainy. So six mile per hour wind. Just try to get this as far down the fairway as possible. Push that one slightly right, but it's still within the... The swing cone, so it shouldn't really punish us. And that is going to leave us a pitch shot. But no, I really can't recall the waterfalls being on this second um, hole behind the green. Like I say, certainly looks like a remastered version. So we're just lofting up this lob wedge. And attacking this pin. Oh, I've pushed out really right. Is it going to bite? Reluctantly slows down as soon as we get past the hole. Very fortunate, though, to have a putt from six feet for birdie after that pitch. Good read, good putt. 
And we do pick up back-to-back back -to -back birdies, excuse me, and move the two under. It is absolutely roasting here, by the way, guys. Um, the sun's not really out, but the temperature's about 24, 25 degrees. Um, I've got a dishcloth right next to me, which I'm, I'm using to clean, dry my hands in between shots. But hole number three, par four, playing 426 yards, stroke index two. Now, that's definitely a new feature, the waterfall coming down and then into the, the basin of water there. Let's just have a quick look at that, because that is absolutely stunning. Look at that. That was never in the original. What a cool addition. Like I say, I get so excited when I find Tiger Woods courses that I've yet to play or not played on the Golf Club 2019. So Eamon left at his tree. Could well hit this tree. It's another good swing. But it should just hold. Don't hit the tree trunk. Just avoided that one. I thought for a second we might have clattered back off the tree trunk. That's going to leave us an elevated approach shot into this third green. 147. 369. I'm going to say 24 yards we've got to add on to that. So just going to loft up the 7 iron ever so slightly. Really in between clubs here. Bunkers in play if we're long at the back. Laser beam. That needs to get down. Oh, it's carried on a little bit too far. And with these firm greens, fast greens, look at the binds it took. Are we in the bunker? Oh, wow, just avoid the bunker. We are going to be into the snow part of the course, light rough. And just looking to flop this out as close as we can. I'm getting up and down here. Look at the stance. Oh, that's far too firm. It's another horrible swing light. So even... Just goes to show you guys, despite me locking out the way I hold my controller, that's a straightforward putt. I still don't swing per I've pushed that right. Oh, goodness. Now, I feel at times that swing, that putt line punish you, punishes you. And the other, I've seen golfers who have got, uh, other YouTubers who have got a putt line like a Z, and it doesn't seem to affect them. I push that ever so slightly. And due to not having a break, we were punished. So it's just testimony that you do get punished on your putts on the Master Clubs. Hole number four. Huge downhill elevation here into this 135-yard par three. But this is such a fantastic version of this course. We're really going to have to loft up this gap wedge here. That wind should take us around. It's a good swing. Perfect, perfect tempo. Tracking well. Oh, this could drop. Get in. Oh, what a fantastic tee shot there. And hopefully we are picking up that bogey straight back. And we do move to two under par from two feet. Just a little break. Good putt. Not the best of putt lines. But we take it. And we move back to two under. Not a par on the scorecard yet. Three birdies and a bogey. But hole number five, short par four. Once again, the rainbow's in view. Absolutely stunning. Playing 394 yards. This should be a dog leg left. Look at this. Absolute quality. Some of you may or may not like the snow. I just think it's a fantastic feature because, like I say, I've played this course so many times on so many different versions from designers that this snow is just... Got me intrigued. So we can comfortably drive the second part of the fairway. Wind's going to move us. Good swing. That's going to kick over to the left here, I would imagine. Hopefully we hold that fairway. Oh, we don't. I think we've trickled into the, the first cut here, the light rough. We're not far from the pin. 66 yards. Don't see how this stops. Look at the contours of the green. Looks like this ball's going to run on for a good bit. Because as most of us know, you don't really generate backspin in this game. It's a great execution. It should run on. Deliberately left it. Oh, I've left it too short. I really expected there to land on the fairway, kick onto the green. 
At least now we can chip it. That is a poor pitch. There was a problem, and we could well be dropping back-to-back -back shots here. Eh, not back-to-back -back shots, but we could well be picking up our second bogey. It's a missable putt. Fortunately, we don't miss that. We do secure the par. That's a hole you should be birdieing, in my opinion. I didn't play that well. But we are going to remain at two under. Hole number six, short or par five, playing 535 yards, throw connect 16. But this course visually looks stunning, guys. Another waterfall there to the right that I don't recall in the original. It'll be interesting to see what you guys pick up if you did play the Tiger Woods. I mean, if you're if you're too young to remember that franchise, you're you're so unfortunate. It was a yearly release and the game was just absolutely superb. Taking a few practice swings here. Not played in a couple of days. Not even hit the driving range. Oh, early. Let's just get on with it. Hopefully we can nail a perfect, perfect here. Certainly find the second fairway here. That three mile per hour wind will move us ever so slightly, but not too much to worry about. Oh, it's a fast. It's an unintentional fast. Not the best of swing lines, neither. That's going to kick in at the rough. Oh, what a bounce. What a bounce, because to me, that fairway looked as if it was sloping left. How on earth has that kicked right? Because look at the lie we have at our feet. That is bizarre. So we're in between clubs here. I'm just de-lofting this five hybrid. Try to get this running. Short hours an hour fast, I could be in the water. This isn't looking positive. Getting a lot of fasts here. Back to back fast that have severely punished that that's in the water. Is it? Did it go in? No. How on earth did that not run out? And it's another um, waterfall, guys. Sorry, I'm just I'm just amazed by the added extras in this course. Love that bridge as well. So fully lofting up this flop. Put a slow on it. Should trickle down. Just not happy with my swing. Maybe I'm better turning my my swing line off like we did in the previous video. There was a an HP. Studios uh, employee, I can't remember his name now, he used to stream on YouTube quite regularly, or maybe it's Twitch and it got transferred over to YouTube, but he would turn his swing line off because he felt a prisoner to it. But as we do move on to hole number 7, look at this for a hole. Short par 4 playing 334 yards, easiest hole on the course coming in at stroke index 18. I think we can drive this, you know. I think we can drive this. Unfortunately, we don't have the, the spin, the manual spin that you could add onto the golf ball like you did in Tiger Woods. Very arcadey. Intentional fast. It's, that's not coming round. It's probably the cleanest intentional fast I've ever played. This should kick right. It does kick right. Is that going to hold? What a fantastic tee shot. I didn't play for the kick right, guys. I really, really didn't. We do have an eagle opportunity from six feet here. Come on, surely we're going to convert this and move to five under par here. Oh, just. I really felt for a second that wasn't dropping. But we do pick up an eagle. What a scorecard. We have got every color. We've got every color you can get in the game, I do believe, on that scorecard. As we do move on to hole number eight. Par four playing 407 yards, stroke index 12. I'm honestly really blown away by how clean this course is. Just that the snow just totally changes how I had this course in my how I pictured it in my head. Like I said, there is a few added extras that weren't definitely not in the original. Tight fairway, but we'll take it on. Just gonna apply a touch of fade. And hopefully we can keep this ball in play. Slight push right, but it's still within the cone, so it shouldn't really punish us. That's certainly going to kick forward. And that is a great tee shot. Really is a good tee shot. And that should reward us with a wedge. Well, it's a pitch. 
I was expecting Law Wedge here. It's another waterfall at the back of the green that I've not um, seen before. So just almost fully lofting up the Sam Wedge. Let's see if we can get this stopping near the pin and checking up. Another slight push right. That should bounce out. Boom. Trickle and check. Didn't check up as quick as I would have liked, but what a fantastic shot that is. Or should I say as quick as I intended it to. But it's a fantastic outcome. And we do pick up another birdie. And despite having a bogey on the fourth, we find ourselves eight under. So hole number nine, par three, playing 174 yards, stroke index four. There's one of the lighthouses that should be in this course. Perched high. A few added extra buildings there as well. But like I say, guys, it's been such a long time since I've played the original of the Highlands. But please correct me in any mistakes. I'm just going to loft up the 7 iron. Certainly want to land this left off the pin. Look at the contours there. This should turn towards the, the pin beautifully. It's a great strike. There's it turning. This could be beautiful, you know. Get up. Oh, wow. I really didn't... Ah, oh, I pushed it slightly. That slight push combined with the wind. This is a nasty bunker shot, to be honest. Ten yards up four feet. Just need to touch this. Is it going to check? I'll take that all day long. Like a Phil Mickelson shot, that one. And it is going to leave us with a makeable eight-foot putt. Is it going to turn? It does turn. And we do manage to walk away with a par save. I do apologise if you're picking up the creakiness of my game chair, guys. I've got no idea how it is. I've been working hard back out in the weights um, since lockdown. And uh, I think I've added probably about a stone of solid muscle. So I think that extra weight that I've put back on is uh, adding to the noise of the chair. That is a really tough fairway to hit with driver. We may have to lay up here with two. Let's have a look at it. But it looks like it could be tough going by the flyover on hole 10. Short par 4, 372. My two woods, easy. But we don't do things easy in this channel. I think there's just... Oh, it's going to kick right. I think there's just enough wind to naturally take us round here. Need to put a clean swing in this one. It's a horrible swing. Oh, I put a slow. Could get away with one. We have really gotten away with one there because if we didn't put that slow on, which has probably done us out about 20 yards, with the extra carry, that ball's in the bunker. Oh. Now, we're definitely hitting the tree here, so I'm just going to apply a touch of draw. I still think we'll catch this tree, but we just need to get to the top of that slope. Definitely catching the tree here. Has it going to have enough legs to run out and find that slope? If it does, we're on to a winner. It's a far better swing. There's a tree. There's a slope. And we've played that really, really well. Once again, using our surroundings to our advantage. The tree doesn't really hold you up in pitch shots, guys. Um, it was more a line for me to take. But we do pick up another birdie. And we are seven under. I think I've lost track of the score. I thought we were eight under. I may have dropped a shot somewhere. Another shot along the lines. Hole number 11. Beautiful downhill par 5. Playing 557 yards. Stroke index 17. And there's another one of the lighthouses. Off there in the distance. There, there, there should be a few lighthouses in this course. It's another um, narrow fairway. It's a tough pin location. Ooh, it could well be tricky, but we should be able to comfortably reach this in two. Now, that little wall there, I've never seen that previously in any version of the game, but I reckon if we put a fast on this, we could comfortably even carry that. You don't want to hit that or be stuck behind it. So try him for a fast. There's a fast, there's there's a more a custom early fast. We should carry like that little dyke, little Scottish term there for you. A dyke wall. 
I would love to know actually what would happen if, if you landed right near that. I think this club is perfect. I'm just going to try and use that backboard. I think we land front of the green, kick out firmly, release forward, find the backboard and it should come back. There's an absolute laser beam. didn't kick out anywhere as firmly as I expected but we have found that backboard that should come back now and in towards the pin and that is a fantastic shot really really happy with that outcome and this should reward us with our second eagle of the round and we do move to nine under par solid round so far despite a few mistakes but hole number 12 par 4 playing 410 yards stroke index 7 now you've really got to watch your tee shot here with this bridge that's a completely different bridge looks like the designers used um, rocks and leveled them up like and stretched them that, oh and I tell you something you're a pro this on the original this holds a lot longer so definitely a remastered version we can find second part of the fairway here don't want to be in that bunker to the left. It's going to be a pitch, I would imagine. This is weird. I've never seen the 12th at the Highlands look like this or play like this. A bridge is normally a steel structure. Pardon me. Oh, there's a fast. We're in trouble. And that was all me. I can 100%, 100 confirm. Oh, almost hit the, the little steps that I, I swung fast there. We could be in a bit of a trouble here. Oh, we don't. We can't hit the green. We're going to have to... <laughs> it's a really kind of crazy shot. We're going to have to fade a shot. Uh, draw a shot out of the bunker here. If I overdraw it, I am going to hit this uh, raised mound. Yardage should be good here. This could be some shot. We pull it off. Great swing. Oh, too much draw. And we have hit that. Oh, we're in trouble. Fortunately, that's kicked back enough. I think we're going to have to play another draw here. It's going to be a pitch draw. It's another really unrealistic shot, but we'll loft this up. We'll apply a good bit of draw. And let's see if we can save par. We're going to do well to save par from here. If we can get an up and down here, I'm delighted. Good execution. Is it going to bite? It's actually not bad. It's going to leave us about a 10 to 12 foot putt for that par opportunity. 11 footer. Not a huge amount of break in this. Break in both ways. Should turn back. That didn't turn back. Didn't turn back. It said it was going to turn back ever so slightly. And I'm sure if it did, yeah, we would have picked up our par there. Got what we deserved after that tee shot. So the aggressive play is not always the play, guys. But that's how I play. Oh, it's a second bogey. I can't recall the last round we got two bogeys on. But hole number 13. Par 4 playing 350 yards stroke index 13. But loving this remake of the Highlands. So there is a good few changes that the designer has um, implemented here. And that is a tough looking green here. And this is par 4, 350 yards, 13th. Wind's really died down. We've got a 1 mile per hour wind. Need to put a good clean swing line on to this. Just try to take on as much as this tree is. It's a slight push right. It's within the cone. It is tracking right though. Hyzer kick. That kicked right. It's another missed um, fairway in regulation. I don't think we've hit many fairways in regulation. Really in between clubs here. If I wasn't in this rough, I'd be flopping this. So just try to pitch this short of the pin and hopefully it bites. But we know how inconsistent this game is at times. The green does look like it's got a light, slight slope away from the pin. Check up. Ah, oh, it's not checked. 
It's going to leave us a pot for birdie. Okay, 11 footer here. This is definitely makeable. So it's a nut pill pot. This one is really going to break hard, right? It was always going to be tough to get that sitting down quickly. Coming out of the rough. With that downhill slope. And what a putt that is. Wow, what a putt. Really happy with that putt. And we do move to 9 under par. So, hole 14. Playing 450 yards. Stroke index 11. But I'm actually blown away with this course, guys. Some of you may not... Um, appreciate this course as much as what I do because like I say I've played every Tiger Woods game available on multiple platforms and um, so this is a real treat for me on this um, Saturday afternoon like I say it's absolutely cooking I've got fans and things but I didn't want to put it on and um, annoy you guys with the background noise just playing a touch a draw aiming left with the wind as well here Played that really well. That was an intentional fast. And with that, we've got that extra 5 to 10 yards required to have a great line of sight now into this 14th green. Ooh. I think pitching wedge de-lofted as a club here. With that subtle 4 mile per hour wind. Don't want to be long. Just looking to land this. Probably about 2 to 3 yards short of the pin. It should get a firm bounce out. Although it is a slight uphill slope on the green. There's a far superior strike. This is tracking well. This should bounce out firmly and turn right. Just a bit too much weight on that one. I think the wind really helped it. But look at that. I'm not a huge fan of um, areas of the green where it's got no um, break on it at all. I think that's the second time I've seen that. In saying that, I did miss... Um, a putt that had no break early doors due to my putt line. But we'll take it. But hole number 15, par 3, playing 163 yards, stroke index 3. It's another tough looking green. Just love that rainbow effect. It's uphill. I'm just going to deal off this 8 iron a few touches. That wins in my face. Laser beam. This should release well on these firm greens. This could actually drop. Get in. Oh, just came up a little bit short. It's going to leave us about a five foot putt for birdie here. Oh, that was right on line as well. And we are awarded with the birdie. And despite a couple of bogeys here, we are sitting at 11 under with three holes to play. But this really does bring back so many good memories. Um, of playing this course I think this is a DLC in one of them you, you had to buy courses back in the day guys and I can't recall it was individual courses I think they were 3 4 pounds I'm sure someone will correct me but hardest hole in the course mid range par 4 443 yards I think it's the 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 layout of this course. That tree could definitely be a concern. So try to put another fast on this one. So just aim in right. There's the fast. We've pushed it right. So it's really not going to. Tail off to the left. Hopefully we've got enough club to get. Oh that didn't kick out well. This tree could well still be an issue. And you've got danger to the right and left. You don't want to be in the bunker. Up there. Look at that bunker guys. If you go right. It's out of bounds, drop shot in the water. Left, horrible shot. So just going to play a touch of draw. Try and get a good clean strike on this one. I'm in trouble. That's a fast. Oh, no. Is it plugged? Fortunately, it's kicked. You don't want to be up against the face of that bunker. I can't believe I put a fast on that. I'm probably going to have to stop doing these deliberate fast because I do think it plays about with your tempo. I don't really have a shot here. Let's have a look at the green. I'm going to have to use this green contours. Hopefully, get the right yardage and get that running back down towards the pin. This shouldn't, oh, this shouldn't come out too hot. Not sure. 
why the controller's moving about itself. Should be able to fully play this one. We've got 7482. That's came out a lot, but there's no way. It's really something that I want addressed, or hopefully it's addressed, is the, the lie. Abadrar didn't tell me a lie, and I just had to visually guess my lie. But that ball looked quite heavily in. And it's came out as if a full lob wedge would. Needs to check up. That's in. Oh, I tell you something, just as well we caught the cup there. That was probably tracking off the green. But we are going to pick up our third. Is that our third bogey of the round? I can't recall the last round where I uh, carded three bogeys. It is. But do you know what? I'm delighted at that because this course is challenging me. I've really been punished for every mistake that we've made in this course. But hole number 17, long par 3, playing 212 yards. What a course this is, guys. It really, really is. I'm not looking too much into the the finer details. At first glance, everything looks fairly well done. Look at the waterfall at the back there as well. It's another one that I can't recall. But like I say, if you guys notice any things that have been added to this course that I've missed, please, please put it in the comment section. Just deal off in this 5-iron. Try to run this up. Ah... Oh. Swing lines are not the best. Try to run this up from the fairway. Is it going to sit? Despite not the best of swing lines, that is a really good outcome. But some of these pins are so tough to get near with the longer irons because the contours and the greens, the little subtle slopes with the firm, fast greens really punish it. Uh, didn't allow enough for the break there. Really good weight. Just loving these waterfalls and little streams in the background. Solid par though. That is a tough hole. And we are going to remain at 10 under par. Final hole. Hopefully we can finish with a birdie. But it is a downhill par 5. Playing 567 yards. Look at the bridge there which we didn't see. I think it's from the 12th. The waterfall coming out of that. Absolute fantastic. The designer's obviously been very creative, yet stuck to the, the blueprint of the original Highlands. Really like this. Great feature. Absolute delighted I stumbled across this one for you. Like I say, guys, I just typed this in. He has got a Highlands, I think, well, I'm assuming it's the same guy. There is a Highlands Fantasy V course as well. Um, if you don't fancy the the snow, I think it's a very similar course, it just doesn't feature the snow. But that is a fantastic tee shot. We could be in between clubs here, you know. Oh, two woods far too long with that wind. Needed the wind in my face. Two wood. I'm too long. I'm going to take it on, guys. Just deal off in this two iron. Hopefully finding that little mound. It's short. That's not kicking up, is it? Kick up, kick up. Oh, wow. Almost trickled across the bridge. Two woods. I think there, guys, was just too long a club. So we're going to do well just to, to walk away with par. Just flopping this. So close to making that. Look at that bridge as well. A lot of details went into this course. That's fantastic. Should run out and get in. Get in. Get, oh, what an effort. What an effort. Glad not to birdie the final hole, but it is going to ensure we pick up a part. But guys, I've got to take on these shots. You guys want, want to see me take it on. But what a fantastic ride. Really loved that course. Brought back so many good memories. But there we have it, guys. The Highlands winter. That's 100% a favourite. And a five star in my book. But that is it for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy this, please spam the like button. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.